Hello everyone, this is John Schaefer from AmmoToHooks.com and tonight the video that we're presenting to you is what is a 22250 Remington and what is it used for? The 2250 Remington was adopted in early 1965 as one of the calibers for Remington 700 series bolt action rifles and also for the Model 40 XB match rifle. Browning bolt action rifles were offered in the 2250 two years earlier. This is not a factory design, but rather a, a popular Wildcat that has been around for many years and made good. However, Remington's ad adaptation or Remington's adoption of the round moved it into a commercial classification. There is some confusion regarding date or origin of the 2250, which is based on the 250 3000 Savage case neck to a 25 caliber. Its monikers are derived from the caliber 22 and the parent cartridge name 250. The parent cartridge was introduced in 1915. And the 22 version may have been made up ex ex experimentally shortly thereafter. Harvey Donaldson, Gossverner, Witkins, J.C. Gebby, J.B. Smith, and John Sweeney all worked on versions of the 2250 between 1934 and 1937. Gabby and Smith are usually created with having the development the, pre the present configuration in 1937. However, there are different versions of the cartridge and must depends on which you refer to. The Gabby version is named the 22 Varmeter and he obtained the copyright of that name. Other gunsmiths renamed it the 22250. The Volkerson, the Watkinson Volkinson version was the forerunner of the 220 Swift, although Winchester ended up using the 6mm Lee Navy case rather than the 250 Savage. At the present time, all major American and European rifle makers furnish bolt action rifles in 22250 chambering. In addition, the Ruger, Thompson Center, and other single shots are available in this caliber. Important facts. The 22250 is one of the best balanced and most flexible of the high power 22 center fires. It is also most popular of the long range 22 varmint cartridges, effective to ranges 400 yards or more. The 2250 also has a reputation for outstanding accuracy and has been used with some success of bench rest shootings. Many individuals who have had experience with both the two the 22250 and the 220 Swift report that the former gives significantly longer case life with full loads than the latter. The 22250, as with most of other high power 22s, is not recommended for use on deer or other medium game. The reason, of course, is that the light varmint bullets are made to expand quickly and will not offer sufficient penetration at large animals. This is one of the best all-around long-range 22 varmint cartridges available today. In a 2000 press release, Remington announced the availability for electronic ignition 2250 ammunition for use in its a non-defunct e-tron X rifle. The initial loading used a 50 grain Hornady match V or V match polymer tip bullet Owing to the unique powder of the ammunition will not work with a conventional rifle, just as conventional ammunition will not work in the e-tron X rifle. Except for the primer, the ammunition was conventional, uses conventional components. Update. When the 2250 was introduced in 1965, there were no 22 caliber bullets truly suitable for the use of medium sized game. Things have changed a great deal in the last 47 years. Nosler now offers a 60 grain version of a famous of the famous patrician bullet. Barnes offers several different weight tip shocks, different weight triple shock bullets, and Swift has an excellent 75 grain Sirocco bullet. Any of these bullets are totally adequate for the use of animals that weigh up to 250 pounds as long as the impact velocity is high enough to ensure com complete expansion, about 2,300 feet per second or so. As a matter of fact, in Texas, the 2250 and other 22 caliber centerfire rifles have become very popular for deer hunting. 
and uh you know little note on the side um i have been hunting with a 2250 ever since i was uh 20 years old that was one of the first guns that i bought after i graduated high school and um the, most of my deer have been killed with a 2250 and uh i i hunt in eastern oregon hunted in eastern oregon and western idaho so <clears throat> that is uh my opinion about the 2250 it's a great all-around cartridge and there's only one way to improve it and i'll talk to you about that in a later video again this is john schaefer for ammohooks.com and this video is about what is the 2250 remington and what is the 2250 remington used for thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe have a good evening hello everyone